Alright, Shalom, Shalom. I'd like to start this video by giving all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the Akim that pushed this word in truth and in sincerity. It's Brother Yeram here, and um, the title of this lesson is um, A Full Moon is Not a New Moon. Okay, because you still got people out there that um, is outright talking rubbish about um, the new moon Sabbath, but then when they go into it, <coughs> they're saying that oh, you you guys say that the full moon is the new moon, and you guys worship the the new moon, and that goes back to lunar worship, which means lunatic and all that kind of nonsense, man. You know, but um. <laughs> that's not the case man you know the full moon is not the new moon all right let's start off with this i'm on google images okay google chrome and i've gone to images i've typed in a full moon and we've got various pictures here um that have been taken and by the way the americans never went to the moon that was a lie <laughs> just throw that in there but um yeah this back to the topic this is um a full moon Let's look at this one. Yeah. The creation of Allah Khayyam under the blueprint of Yahweh. Okay. This is one of the heavenly bodies. It's beautiful. It's a it's a moon. It's the moon. Okay. The full moon. Um here's the other pictures of it. Okay. And according to the Apocrypha, the word of the Mosai, um a, Contrary to science, the sun does not, the, the moon does not reflect the uh, the light of the sun. Science tells you that, or uh, the sun reflects its, the sun still shines, and then the moon reflects the light, and it's a reflection of the no. The scriptures say that the light in the moon it increases and it decreases throughout its um, course, man. Every month, the moon um, gets brighter, and then it gets darker over the month over the course of the month. And vice versa and we see certain parts of the moon okay sometimes all right so we sometimes we have like that's we get the first quarters the half moon and the full moon then the new moon which is no moon at all so to speak as in we can't see it kind of thing and we're going to get into that yeah but this is what a full moon is all right exhausted that point let's move to this now i typed in new moon okay where the moon doesn't give its light this is what it looks like okay so the moon is still there in the in Hashemayim in the heavens, but we don't see its light. Okay. This is what a new moon looks like, man. You know. So to the people out there saying that ah oh, the Sabbath, you guys say the Sabbath is the full moon. No, we don't. Because let's go again. This is a full moon, right? And this is the new moon. All right. And the Sabbath goes from the new moon to the new moon, which is where you get the word month from, moon, okay, which takes a course of 28.53 days. So the new moon can come in within the course of a day, but then the Sabbath starts at that evening, okay. And let's get that, let me get this scripture, okay, um, for signs and for seasons all right because in kindergarten all right in sunday school i don't know if the page is going to load because sometimes this internet bugs out man so lucky about this if it doesn't load then um yeah, it's not seeming oh here we go here we go because <clears throat> in kindergarten they tell you that God made the moon and the stars so we can see we have the sun the greater light for the day and the moon the lesser, the lesser light for the night God made all these things so he lovely children on earth could see alright and that's as far as it goes in Sunday school <laughs> you know they're not wrong yeah we, it's, it's made for us to see but then there's multiple <clears throat> applications of the heavenly bodies, man. 
Oh, like the moon affects your mood. Okay, it also gives us light in the night. It's also there for times and for seasons, man. And that's what they don't tell you. Okay, and it says it here, Genesis 1 and 14. And it says, And God but really, and Allah Hayyam said, Let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs. Hello, as they say in the Christian church. Hello, somebody. <laughs> let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. So what governs what governs the 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 days, okay, the the the, the years and the times, the moon and the sun, man, okay, and it also said for signs, A.K.A. blood moons, okay. It says in the day of the Lord, um, the moon shall be turned to blood and the sun shall not give its light. And we've been having blood moons, and we're gonna to continue to have blood moons and like manner. Or of things of that manner, man, of like manner, okay. But the point I'm getting at is that it's also for for seasons, okay, for days and for years. So the moon, when we have a new moon, that gives us, um, well, we get the the number of days in a month, twenty eight point five three, for the cycle to uh, to come to its completion. All right, but and then we also have um, we get the Sabbath from it, man. And this is what a new moon looks like. This will be the first Sabbath, okay? Then the next three uh, weeks of that day, let's say the, the new moon, like this week, the this month, so like the moon is Thursday to Friday evening. It came in on the 6th, Thursday the 6th of um, so-called December. So the next three Thursday to Friday evenings will be the Sabbath. Are you going to see a new moon for the next three weeks? No, you're going to see different moon phases, but the, the fact is, is that the new moon is the beginning of that Sabbath cycle for that month. Alright. Now um uh let's see what this I got some scriptures. Um Isaiah sixty six and twenty three and it says And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another all flesh um uh one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me, safe Yahweh. Okay, here we go. It just tells you clearly, man, you know that the new moon is a sabbath but that's the beginning of that of the sabbaths for that cycle man then the next and the sabbath and then you, the next three weeks you have sabbaths man you know so not every sabbath is a new moon okay the new moon is just the first sabbath of that cycle then you have three regular sabbaths well not regular but three um sabbaths following after that on that day in that particular week okay so that that proves to you that the sabbath is not friday to saturday sundown man as some churches teach man you know that's in honor of the p pagan deity Frigus for Friday and um, the worship of um, Saturn for Saturday. Which goes back to the Satan worship, man, you know. Just quick bring out these scriptures real quick. Um, in the Ten Commandments, Summary of the Law, this is Exodus 20 and um, uh, where we at, where we at? Verse 8, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, six days thou... Um, shalt thou labor and do all thy works but the seventh day is a sabbath to yahweh thy power in it don't do no work and the verse goes on but the point being is that six days you work so from the new moon you count six days then the seventh day is a sabbath then you count another six days then the seventh day is a sabbath then you count another six days and you do that three times after the new moon then you've completed that month cycle of the sabbaths then the new moon comes in again on a different day okay so the the, the sabbath ain't the same day for every, all year round, every single year, it, it changes, man, you know, but, um, I want to bring this out, man, this is, applies, especially if you're new to the faith, it says, Colossians 2, chapter 16, and, um, uh, no, chapter 2, verse 16, and it says, um, let no man therefore judge you in meat, or in drink, or in respect of holy day, of an holy day, or of a new moon, or of the Sabbath days, okay, which are, a shadow of things to come but the body of Hamashiach okay so pretty much if you're new to this it's going to take you a while to get the hang of the Sabbath it's going to take you a while to get um, the hang of um, you know meat and drink and whatnot you know but if the spirits on you to, to to abide by the Lord you know and if you're a man of the Lord you will do then you do it when the Lord sees fit to bring you into it fully man 
But you know, a new guy ain't gonna be able to keep the Sabbath. You know, remember every single time how it works. But over time, you get it, man. You know. But that's that, man. I wanted to clear that up. That there's a difference between a new moon and a full moon. And the Sabbath goes by the new moon, man. For that month cycle. But with that, I'll say, Shalom.